we have seen earlier that whenever a program has to be run it will be brought from the disk into the main memory or the ram so if it has to be executed it will be taken from the hard disk into the memory it could be hard disk or any secondary storage device this memory it sees a stream of addresses coming from the central processing unit or the processor so the processor sends out addresses and read write requests also if it is a write request then data will also be sent out by the processor and it will be written into the main memory now the storage possibilities in the computer system also include the registers which are inside the processor and access to the register can be done by the processor in less than one clock cycle but the main memory access can take many clock cycles and it may cause a stall that means if the memory is being accessed and many clock cycles are being used the processor will have to wait for that particular request to be completed now instead of using the main memory which requires a longer access time there is a cache which is a high speed memory and it sits between the main memory and the cpu registers so for quick and easy access some data can be transferred to the ram from the ram to the cache and then the cpu can quickly access the cache for easy access of the instructions and the data this ram it has multiple processes loaded into it and we know that the protection of this memory is required to ensure correct operation what does this mean this means that no process should be able to access the address space of another process so this protection is required for correct operation and execution of the processes now the concept of a logical address space and the physical address space is very important for proper memory management so this logical address space is the space that is usually seen by the programs and this is the address which is generated by the cpu it is also referred to as the virtual address you can check my earlier videos on virtual memory to understand the difference between these two in detail the physical address is the address seen by the memory unit so we know that the cpu will generate the logical address over here which will somehow be mapped into a physical address and this physical address will be the one that will be seen by the main memory the binding of the instructions and data to memory addresses that means the binding of the logical address to the physical address can be done at any step either it can be done at the compile time or the load time in this case the logical and physical addresses will be the same but if it is done at execution time that means when the program is being executed then this will result in different logical and physical addresses so this runtime mapping from the virtual to the physical addresses is done by a hardware device which is called the memory management unit or the mmu so in this mmu apart from the other functions or the tasks that it performs there is one relocation register over here in the mmu and this value in the relocation register will be added to every address that is generated by a user process so if the cpu generates a logical address of 346 and if a runtime mapping is being done of this virtual address so this is the logical address or the virtual address and this is the relocation register for that particular process so this address will be added to 346 to generate the physical address and this is the physical address which will be seen in the main memory that means in the logical address space of the program this address 346 is actually mapping to a particular address which is 14346 in the actual main memory 
So, this mapping is done by the memory management unit depending on where the process has to be given space in the RAM. Now, for another process, this value in the relocation register will be different. So, for each process, the value in the relocation register is different based on where that process is being placed in the RAM. So, if this process P1 is being placed over here, then its relocation register will have some value. If process P3 is being placed at some other address in the RAM and if now P3 starts running, then the value in the relocation register will change depending upon where this process is to be given space in the main memory. So, this is how MMU is very important for the, mem uh, for the management of the memory and this mapping also ensures that no user process enters or accesses the space of any other process. How memory allocation is done? This we will look into in the next videos.